Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the More Ride X Factor Crossmember on our 2020 Grand Design Momentum. This system is designed to attach on the inside of both of your hangers on the back of your trailer where your leaf spring attaches. And basically, what it's designed to do is it will stiffen that hanger so that when you're driving down the road, you don't have any flex in that hanger. We've actually seen the hangers come in and they're bent or some people have even had them fail. So by stiffening that, you're making your ride a lot safer. These cross braces are designed to span from 61 inches all the way up to 79 and a half inches. So that'll give you a better idea of whether or not it'll fit your hangers. What you wanna do is you wanna measure from the inside of one hanger to the inside of the other hanger straight across. In order for you to get a better look at this system, we're gonna pull the RV inside, lift it up and show you. This is what our X-Factor is going to look like when it's installed. You can see that we've got our four bolts on each side in the center. And the way that they have you bolt those together, it doesn't allow um, these slotted holes. It doesn't allow the bars to move from side to side. So you don't have to worry about um, any rigidity issues with that. But it will bolt to the inside of our hangers on both sides. And if you decide to go with two X-Factors, you will get uh, the same exact kit for the front and that will help to strengthen both of our um, sets of hangers on the front and rear. You can add one of these X-Factor cross members for the center too. We put the Roadmaster Comfort Ride system on which is a really, really good suspension system for RVs. So if you're looking for an upgrade uh, for your suspension, this is an awesome one. But you can see here where the Comfort Ride system attaches to, that is where you would have to attach that Moride cross member to, so it's not going to be able to work with this system. To begin our installation, we've already got our brackets installed because we had to install them when we put our Roadmaster Comfort Ride on. Once you have both of your brackets installed and you've got your nuts torqued down, we're going to take our larger centerpiece. The brackets are different, so you want to make sure you match it up. It doesn't rightly matter which direction this is facing, but you want to get two bolts started and that'll hold the weight up for you. You want to put a total of six bolts in these ends and then follow each one up with a nut. And we'll want to leave this hardware loose until we get all of our other bolts in place. Now you want to lift up the other bracket, or the center section, and we're going to slide some hardware in place. Again, you want to make sure that it's sliding inside of this other brace. Then we'll lift our center sections up into place, and you want to go to the outermost hole um, so that if, you're, if these brackets were to try to slide, they can't slide either way. So we'll put one on each of these in the widest position and then one in each of these two holes. Then follow it up with a nut on each one. And then we'll repeat that same process for this side of the bracket. Now up on the ends, we're gonna have our brackets. You'll have to slide your gold bolts through the little eyelets, slide a pipe spacer on, We'll do the same thing to this other side and take another pipe spacer and then we'll take this bracket and slide it over the ends. And we'll follow each one of those up with a nut. And we're going to snug up our gold bolts first. You just want to make sure that the bracket is a straight shot to our hanger here. Then we'll come back with a 14 millimeter wrench and socket and start tightening down all of our bolts. You're going to start at the two ends and then do your center bolts. Then 
And we're gonna go back in the same order and torque down all of our hardware. Once you get everything torqued down properly, that's gonna do it for the installation.